but hopefully we get some big fish <laughs> to make up for how exhausted we are. <laughs> but we're gonna kill it. All right, wish us luck. Hola. Hola. That's our buddy. Just heading to the Funga to load up the boat. With all of our gear. Yes. Beautiful morning. I'm excited. Exhausted, but excited. You ready for action? <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Yeah. We got here a little late, like 20 minutes late. I blame Steel.
already saw a permit when he first jumped in, so let's jump in and try again. Wish me luck. We did super, super well today. Look at this catch. Uh huh. Steel. We did real well today, no? Not bad. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias, Israel. Beautiful. All right. We didn't get to go fishing today, so we're, we decided to visit Chichen Itza. Are you excited? Yeah. Still super into history, so this was a must-see for him. I've been here before, but like two years ago. But I'm excited for him to see it. Do you know any fun facts about this place? I don't Actually, remember. I don't at all. No? All right, we're gonna learn about it. We'll learn about it together. All right. Popular 
right, guys, we just entered Chichen Itza. That's one of the seven wonders of the world. Right in front of us is El Castillo, also known as the Temple of Kukulkan. <laughs> so at this structure, apparently there was a bird that the Mayans worship. This gorgeous bird is called the Quetzal. It's an important symbol in Mayan culture. It's associated with the snake god and is seen as a symbol for goodness and light. It made this certain sound, and so they created this and somehow made it so that if you clap, it echoes the sound that the bird made. So if you clap, Can you hear it? That's <laughs> so cool. It really sounds like a bird. <laughs> it does. Here we have the Temple of the Warriors, and to the right of it is the Hall of a Thousand Columns. That was originally used as a marketplace and was covered with palm leaves to help shade everybody and keep everyone cool. There's so many beautiful birds singing. It's so nice. Such a beautiful forest here. Look what I found! This is a home. So <laughs> you can't scare me. I'm unscarable. It started raining, and thank God, because it's so freaking hot here. Ugh, I'm sweating my booty off. Yeah, they don't really sell water anywhere. Yeah, they don't sell water anywhere. They just sell like jaguars. those jaguars <laughs> and like all these little trinkets, but no water. So we ran out and we try not to use plastic at all. So uh, there's no fountains or anything to fill up our bottle. But drink the rain. Yeah, <laughs> one drop at a time. <laughs> We're gonna get a picture with steel in the pyramid or next to the pyramid. There's so many people here, it's crazy. Where's the sacred cenote? I wanna die that. Sacred cenote? That's what I wanna die. Where does it say that? <gasps> sacred cenote. Oh that would be awesome. Sacred cenote. Oh man, pouring rain. Feels so nice. But look, it's sacred cenote here is what they call it. The cenote sagrado is where the Mayan people would bring their sacrifices to the rain god Chuck. So nice. Very nice and soaked. <laughs> So it's definitely important to mention that being sacrificed in the Mayan religion was really a huge honor. Normally after you die it would take around 21 levels that someone would have to pass before actually getting to heaven or to paradise. But if you were sacrificed, you went straight to heaven. Would not want to fall down that cliff, that's for sure. Not getting out of there. How do you think, do you, can you even swim in there? Look at all those caves. So cool. Yeah, that looks really contaminated. Doesn't look so great. It's not clear and beautiful, but cool nonetheless. Alright, let's go. We came to this restaurant. We just came back to the car and these birds are going nuts. So cool. Sitting at the airport. We drove four hours to get here and now our flight's delayed for two hours. We had like not even three hours of sleep. So I'm exhausted. Ready to get home. Take a nap. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen for like another 
five hours or so. But be updated. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Miami.